It's time for red fire opal. Peyton, I have heard people say fire opal, mm -hmm. but uh, today when I sat with you and the buyers, um, and they said red, Fire, red opal. fire opal. Why did they do that? Why did well, they say that? Red fire opal is less than 5% of gem quality fire opal. So it's very, very rare to find this many red fire opals and also from a famous mine. It's in the northeast part of Mexico. It's called the Caratura mine and that's where the finest um, fire opals come from. Okay. But when you're talking about red fire opals, you're talking about intense oh. orange with a lot of red in there. And you can see these, I'm sorry we don't have an, an orange to actually compare it to, because you would see how truly red these oh stones my are. Word. But to find this many stones that match so well, look at the intensity of the color, look how well they match, but also look at the fire. You know, that's why they're called fire opal, because when you look at them, it's like looking at lava. Mm -hmm. You know, you have that beautiful deep red fiery color that you see in lava. And actually, these were formed in lava. Really? So that's really where this fire comes from. Oh dear, Peyton, they are just so sexy. They have this molten, just inner burning um, that just swells to the top. I mean, it is really such a stone that captures your eye. Flirty, beautiful. Um, the color, amazing. Yeah, not orange. These are red. Um, they're on fire. They sold out the last time that they were here. Yeah. So we put them on six easy payments. We're able to get them back. Um, uh, shipping and handling is going to be included with this one. Unique, one-of-a-kind material is what the folks were telling me, the buyers were telling me about this. Um, and it is very, very seriously difficult to match all of these stones because they're, the stones are all it's very different. So to be able to match them like this in color, in clarity, in cut, in sparkle, and all of that, very, very difficult to do. Did I break down the prices yet? I don't even know if I talked about it. Let's do it now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the six and a three quarter inch, 5.30 carat total weight. And it's on six easy payments of $211.50. Then we have the seven and a quarter inch. That is uh, five point five and a half carat total weight. Six easy payments of two hundred forty one dollars and fifty cents. Then the eight inch is going to be coming in at six point twenty carat total weight, and that is going to be on five or six easy payments of two hundred fifty four dollars and eighty eighty three cents. I think so. Lots of gold with this one too. So again, they're going to take a precious, beautiful stone and give us bars and bars right. of gold. All right, and I love the close up. This is really important when you're looking at fire opal because look at how clean it is. Look at how clear it is. When you see it that's actually transparent, which means you could actually read through it, that shows you that it's extremely fine. But you also want to look for a couple of other things. Number one, often it's hazy. You know, number one, it's the color, of course. You have that intense cherry red, orangey color. But then it's the, the cleanliness of it. You don't see inclusions in it. You don't see the haziness that you find in a lot of fire opal. But also important is you don't want to see little white, they call them um, milky spots. You don't want to see little white spots because that means it's inferior. Hmm. So you can look at these opals and you can tell, number one, it's that great red color that you don't find often. Less than 5% of all fire opals are this kind of red. Less than 5%? Less than 5% are this kind of red. Jeez. And what I mean by that is the color, that intense, intense color, but look at the cleanliness. Every single stone, you see no haziness to the mm, stone, yeah. and you see none of those little white milky spots that means it's, it's an inferior stone. Wow, and, and to get so many of them, gee whiz. I mean, that has to be hard to do. Let me show you the gallery on it too, because let's uh, kind of just share the amount of gold. This, this brace, it weighs, I mean, it's a weighty, chunky bracelet, but it's absolutely it glows on your wrist. Um, take a look at the side profile there. First, the bars, look at those nice thick bars. They actually delve down into the gold, cradles up those stones, nice deep culettes. These aren't shards of stones. These are nice rocks. And then you take a look at the back. The joints are very, very strong. Lots of gold on that. But we leave that opening there to keep uh, that culette open for the light and also to keep it clean. It's all going to come together. Let me show you here with the hidden box class and a figure eight safety catch. But this is what it looks like. And Peyton, I love to see oh. red and gold, red and yellow gold oh, together. Oh, isn't it beautiful together? I know, right, right. I love well, that. When you see that, what do you think it is? Number one, you think, 
well, maybe fire opal because it has that fiery glow to it, but I've never seen that color. That's what's so unusual about this bracelet. Yeah. I have so many stones of that quality, and like you said, a lot of 14 karat gold. Wow. Okay, don't forget, six easy payments go away at the end of the day. Peyton, I had so much fun oh, with thank you. you. Love you. Thank you. That I love fun. you, too. Thank you so thank much you. for spending some time with me. This was me. great. Oh, by the way, if we want to see you, right, you're on Facebook, you have a blog. Tell us how to get to you. Uh, QVC, uh, Peyton Kelly QVC on Facebook, um, Peyton Kelly blog on the jewelry page, and also now on the forum, I'm writing a weekly blurb about different things. It's called Peyton's Place. Oh, I love that. Yep, on the forum, on the jewelry forum. Um, you know what? The cooking show is, we have a scheduled cooking show on September 14th. Did you get the memo? I'm here. No, not okay. yet. Okay, well, you and but I, I'll be we're here. making my apple pie this oh, time. Oh, yum. <laughs> Poor Peyton. He's... <laughs> All right, oh, nuts. The color change sold out, Peyton. Oh, please enjoy. That's such a treasure. That's so beautiful. All right. All right, Jamie, do you love this necklace? Look at how pretty, it looks like she's wearing yellow diamonds. Um, it's all done in 14 karat gold.